Hey guys, so over here we'll be learning about comparing the strengths of bases. Now here you see there's all kinds of amine group. Primary amine, secondary amine, and tertiary amine. And you'll notice that one similarity between all these amine groups is that you have nitrogen with the lone pairs of electrons that are able to pick up a proton, H+. So how do they act as base? They form a bond with H+. So our question is, if you are given two bases, how do you tell which is more basic? Again, this is similar to comparing the strengths of acids. We always look at the stability of the conjugate. All right. Now in this case, because we are looking from the point of the base, that means now the conjugate will be a conjugate acid. So in this case, if I grab the H+, plus, what do we form? R and H3. The positive now is on the nitrogen. You do it likewise for the secondary amine. You have R and H, H and R. Positive charge on this nitrogen. And it will be similar for the tertiary amine. Now let's compare these two. We know that this NH bond is kind of weak and nitrogen doesn't really like to take positive charge because it's the most electronegative element in the whole periodic table. So there is a chance that this can go back and dissociate into H plus and the free amine group. Go back. So somehow there must be a driving force that can increase the stability of this conjugate acid. And what is it over here? It is the nature of the R group. Suppose we have R group that are electron donating. Let's say we have electron donating groups that connects to the nitrogen. H, 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 positive charge. Now in this case, we know that EDG will push electron density towards this nitrogen, which means that it will give more electrons and suppress and lower the positive charge on the nitrogen, which means that it's more stable. Because now I'm not having a such a high plus charge on the electronegative nitrogen, which means this is stabilized. All right. For EDG attached to the amine. Now, if I have an EWG, the electron withdrawing group, that connects to the nitrogen of the conjugate base, pardon, conjugate acid, positive charge here, what happens is this EWG will withdraw electrons from the negative, from the nitrogen, which makes this even more positive. If we increase the positive charge on the nitrogen, that means it's even more unstable. When it's less stable, it's not going to be formed. It prefer to go back into its uh, undissociated form. So going by this, you learn that electron donating groups will increase the basicity and electron withdrawing groups will decrease the basicity.